Hey guys, you're watching Tech Radar. My name is Basil and I've got my hands on the new Razer phone. This is an angular, bold looking phone. Now it's also reminiscent of a phone that we've seen before. Razer bought Nextbit who released the Robin last year. The Robin was a very, very good looking but soft looking phone based on the color. Oh no, there is nothing soft about the new Razer phone. It is black, it is bold, it is beefy. Beefy, is that the right word? Yes, it has a 4,000 milliamp battery under the hood, which means that it's got some weight behind it. What it also has is really prominent stereo speakers above and below that 5.7 inch display. This is a big phone with battery in spades, screen in spades, and speakers in spades. Dolby's partnered up with Razer for the speaker experience, which I'll come on to a bit later. And the screen has a 120 frame per second refresh rate. 120 hertz screen on a phone. Oh yeah. Protected by a Gorilla Glass 3 screen. This has a USB-C port at the bottom. USB-C port might not have a headphone jack next to it, but I wouldn't worry too much. Only because Razer loads this thing up with a dongle and the dongle it ships with the box has a 24-bit DAC, so you should still get some really high-quality audio from here. In addition to that, there are dual cameras around the back and a fingerprint scanner on the right-hand side, perfect for your thumb to just slide over. The user interface is Android. Now, while it may not be the latest version of Android, Razer gave us a really good explanation as to why. It's because they need to optimize the 120 frames per second screen for Android, and they are working on updates, and they will ship early next year. Still, it's a very, very stock, very, very considered version of Android, and the only real customizations have been applied to the camera UI. In fact, not only is it stock and considered, it's also highly customizable as well. Razer's partnered up with Nova to give you Nova Launcher, and pretty much all enthusiasts, Android enthusiasts, and probably a lot of gamers will have very high regard for Nova. Now onto those speakers. The Dolby partnership and just the sheer oomph of these things have paid off in different there's so something called 3D sound or 360 sound and it means that whether you're standing in front or behind this phone you can hear it as if you're right in front of it and it's really really the first phone I've ever used that's able to fill up a room. I used it alongside one of my favorite stereo speaker phones the iPhone 8 plus and it absolutely blew it out of the water. Never in my life have I used a phone that I think I'd take on holiday to a hotel or whatever it is leave my Bluetooth speaker at home and be absolutely content until now. So I can't wait to try out some actual gaming with this thing. Speaking of gaming the power under the hood is exceptional. It's got eight gigabytes of RAM. That's like the same as a MacBook Pro. In addition to that, you've also got a Snapdragon 835 processor and paired with that screen and some key launch titles that are gonna take advantage of that 120 frame per second refresh rate. This thing looks like a gamer's dream. And that's unsurprising given that it's coming from Razer. Now we asked Razer why they didn't include an OLED screen in this phone. And the reason is they couldn't get that crazy fast refresh rate in OLED screen. So that's why they had to go for a sharp IGSO panel here. As for the dual camera setup, we haven't tested it, but it's 12 megapixel snappers around the back, no optical image stabilization, and the front camera is eight megapixels. It has all the usual connection features that you'd expect, Bluetooth 4.0 to be precise, Wi-Fi, GPS, and all that jazz, and quick charge 4.0 via that USB-C at the base. I cannot wait to really, really put this through its paces. I just wanna play all the games, and specifically Final Fantasy 15, which is a launch title that's being launched in chapter alongside the Razer phone. So Razer's partnering up for exclusive launches. It's also got this banging new phone. Will it all come together in the real world? Check back to TechRadar for the full review in the coming weeks. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. In the meantime, thanks for watching.